Ladies and gentlemen, today I will be calling dealers to order a 2023 C8 Z06 and Stingray Corvette. And the info that I get is shocking. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button and joining me today. And I know that this video is going to be very helpful to a lot of people out there who are wanting to order either a 2023 Z06 or C8 Stingray because this is going to give you all the info that you need to know which one you should truly order and how long the process is going to take. Also, just to let you know, I will be talking to a dealership who actually stated they could get me a C8 Stingray within six to eight months. So I know that is super exciting for you guys to hear because now you know of at least one dealership that you can get a C8 Stingray pretty quickly through. But real quick before we jump into the video, my thumbs up squad has been absolutely amazing by smashing that thumbs up button right when the video gets started. However, if you are brand new to the channel and you wanna wait until this video warrants a thumbs up, that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you're seeing here and you'd like to join the Brink of Speed community, please consider smashing that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get right into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for calling Steel Atlantic City. This is Liz. How can I help you? Yeah, Liz, um, is there a salesman available to talk about ordering a new C8? Sure, let me page someone for you. Hang on one moment, okay? Thank you so much. Corvette Sales? Yeah, uh, my name is Mike, and I just had a couple of questions for you about ordering a new C8 through you guys. Just wondering if the timeline for getting a like the new 2023 C8 Stingray has come down from what Negative. it... Negative, it's going up. In fact, we're done with 23, we're on 24. We're 18 months out and growing. Oh, really? So I guess the question that I had has been answered, but I also was wondering if because of the hype of the Z06 coming out, if people were more interested in getting that. And I know you guys have a uh, like a 5,000 list of Z06 people, but I guess a lot of people have gotten off the Z06 now and are trying to get a just a normal Stingray now. Or is that just, does the Z06 have anything to do with it? Nothing to do with it at all. Oh, okay. Yep. Wow, 18 months. Okay, well, I appreciate the info there. No problem. And uh, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for the phone call. Okay, you too. Bye. See ya. Thank you for calling McMulkin Chevrolet and Cadillac. Can I make your call? Yeah, I was just wondering if I could speak to someone about ordering a C8 Corvette. Uh, let me try and page somebody. Hold on a moment, please. Thank you. Corvette sales, this is Jack. Yeah, Jack, um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about ordering a C8 Stingray or Z06 right now through you guys. Um, Absolutely. What is your guys' timeline on ordering a 2023 C8 Stingray right now? Right now, that's about 12 months. 12 months, okay. And then what about a Z06? That one's looking at about uh, probably a few years-ish. We don't really know exactly yet because we haven't heard any allocation numbers. Okay. Do you guys require a deposit for either one of them? Yes. It's a $2,000 deposit for both, for each. Okay. And are you guys selling both of those at MSRP? Yes, we are. Okay, that's good. So, do you know how many are on your Stingray list right now? Right now we're in the mid-1400s, so about 1460 ish Wow. And it, um, we usually get about 80 to 160 a month. Right now they're pumping them out, so we're, we're more towards like the 100 120, 130 range, so it does go by pretty quick. Okay, that that's really nice. And then how many do you guys have on your Z06 list? Z06, we're a little over 2,200, so I think it's 2,220. And how many you think, I mean, I know you said you don't know how many allocations, but what is your normal allocations for Z06s, like from 2019? This one's a lot different. Just okay. Because it's a completely different car, so we're, we're not able to really get a good judgment yet. So we're just gonna wait until we hear from uh, GM with the allocations. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I needed to know. I'm just 
trying to find out right now where you know dealerships are at with these stingrays and z06s absolutely all right well i really appreciate the info jack not a problem hope to hear back from you soon okay thank you bye-bye bye Uh, my name is Mike, and I was just wondering if you could give me some information about ordering a new C8 Stingray or Z06. Sure. Um, so to get on our wait list, um, where it's a thousand dollar deposit, um, the lead time for the Stingray is about twelve to fifteen months. Uh, at this time, we're no longer taking any more deposits on the Z06. How many deposits and did all you guys? Your orders are sold at MSRP. How many uh, names on the Z06 list? That was one. Yes, sir. Uh, the Z06s were probably like 1,500. Okay. And how many names are on the Stingray list? That one's about 800. 800. Okay. And you said you're selling both at MSRP? Absolutely. Okay. That's awesome. How many allocations do you guys get a year for the Stingray? About 650 to 7. Oh, wow. That's a lot. And then I know it's hard to say right now with the Z06, but what is your guys' rough estimate of how many allocations you'll get for the Z06? That we don't know. We're still waiting to get the allocation um, numbers with that. But based on previous sales, um, we probably get maybe two or two fifty a year. Oh wow, that's actually yeah. quite a few. Okay, I think you answered all my questions. But I'm actually calling multiple dealerships, just trying to figure out, you know, which one is best to go with, because I know it's very tough out there right now to get a quick. Stingray, and it's pretty much impossible to get a Z06. Yeah, the only way you'd get one without waiting too long, at least for a Stingray, is if somebody had one on their lot, but it would be over MSRP at that point. Sure. All right, Andre, well, I really appreciate the info and your time. The pleasure is all mine. Best of luck to you, and if there's anything else we can do for you, just give us a call back. Any of us are here. can take care of you. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. My pleasure. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you, you too. Bye. Thank you for calling the Bach and Auto Group. How may I direct your call? Yeah, I was just wanting to talk to someone in sales. Okay, what vehicle were you looking for? I might be able to help you with that. Uh, the Corvette, the C8. Okay, are you aware of our process on that, or are you just kind of getting started in your search here? Uh, that's what I was actually calling to find out. I had a few questions for you, like, uh, what is your timeline if I was to order a brand new C8 from you guys? Right now, we're pushing just under three years was the last I heard. Holy cow. And what about the Z06? Um, the Z06, we've actually cut off the ordering list on that, we stretched a bit beyond four years, and we're not sure what they're doing with uh, other allocations and manufacturing issues and things like that, so we're really having a hard time even just fulfilling the list we've got right now. So that one we've actually closed off for the time being. Okay. And are you guys requiring a deposit for the Stingray? Uh, yes, our deposit is uh, $1,000. Um, that, of course, gets you on the list. Eventually, I think it's within six months or so is typically what they're hitting at is when we'll come in for the order and they'll collect the additional 4000 to place your order. Oh, okay. So it's taken about six months to order one, and then it'll take another two to two and a half years to get it? That's, uh, I think that's about what we've been hitting. That was kind of last I heard. Okay. Are you guys selling the Stingray and Z06 for MSRP, or are you guys marking them up? Um, right now, what we're offering those at is a market price. Um, so you'll you know put your deposit down, do your $4,000 order, and then um, once that comes around, we'll, we'll look at uh, what the market going rate is for those, and that's what we go with. And are you basing that off of other dealerships that are selling for over MSRP, or are you basing it off of like used C8s and what they're going for? You know, that's a good question. I think it's, um, I guess there's a couple of different factors that go in there, especially with like, if you look at used or what KBB does, they take things within a range of, oh, I don't know, 250 or 500 miles or something like this. It's fairly regional, um, whereas with the new, um, they probably are looking at that, and, and it's probably a couple, like a variation of those factors or something like that. I wouldn't say it's just one or the other, but they're they're factoring in a, a whole bunch of different things. Okay, but ultimately, if they're going for 15 to 20 over MSRP, that's probably what you guys will charge too. Right, I would say if that's what you're seeing, just based on, you know, poker on people's websites or what you're hearing, I would say we're probably going to be pretty close to that. And then as far as the Z06 goes, I'm hearing there's dealerships out there that are trying to get, you know, 50 to 100 grand over MSRP. So um, I wonder if you guys will 
go with something like that or just kind of stick right around what the Stingray's going for? Um, that's a good question. I've not seen, um, I mean, I don't see a lot of the paperwork that they put up, but I, I don't know uh, what they're doing with that. Like I said, since they've had it closed off uh, with the ordering, I'm, I'm not sure exactly where they stand with the Z06. I know it's, you know, different, a uh, little bit different promos on that one. So I, I can't say that we bumped that high, but, you know, it's, like I said, if, it's, if that's the market going rate and that's what's being paid, that's probably what we're going to land around. Sure. Um, just a few more questions. How many are on your Stingray list currently? I think with the Stingray, we've got somewhere around 300. Um, and I think our Z06 topped out around five. Okay. And then how many allocations do you guys typically get a year for the Stingray? Um, that I, that one's a variable as well. Um, like I said, we're if we're bumping around three years and we're at like 300-something names, it's kind of... You know, there may be anywhere between 100 and 150 or so. It just kind of depends on, you know, how well we did the previous year. And then, of course, like what the manufacturing is looking like. I mean, it's so up in the air right now. With, sure. Uh, different places shut down or parts that are falling behind and whatnot. It's, that one's a pretty, pretty hard one to nail down right now. I think it's pretty variable. Okay. And an even harder one to nail down would probably be the Z06. But if you had to mm -hmm. make a rough estimate based on like 2019, how many Z06s you got that year, what do you think you guys will maybe get for the 2023 Z06? Yeah, unfortunately, I just wouldn't be able to tell you that. I mean, like I said, with, you know, if we've got 500-something names on the list and they're looking at a four- to five-year delivery rate, it's probably similar to that. Um, but again, with just how different the production's going to be and all those different issues, it's they could flash it, they could bump it. You know, it's, sure. it, it, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's all very helpful info. I really appreciate it. I'm just calling around to different dealerships trying to figure out what the best case scenario would be. Um, and so sure. far, there is no good scenario for the Z06. Um, right. But yeah. um, as far as the Stingray goes, there's actually some reasonable timelines on those. So Good, um, good. Well, um, you know, if, we find, if you find that uh, we're the most reasonable option or for, for everything that you're weighing, just feel free to give us a call back. We'll be happy to get you connected to somebody for a deposit. Okay, thank you so much for your info. Absolutely, you have a wonderful day. Okay, you do the same. Holiday Chevrolet, this is Tyler. How can I help you? Yeah, Tyler, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about ordering a new uh, Stingray or Z06. What is your guys' timeline if I ordered a Stingray right now? Um, as of right now, it would be somewhere probably late 2023 to 2024. Okay. What about a Z06? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought that's what you were talking about. That's for the Z06 for a regular Stingray. It's roughly six to eight months. Oh, really? Yes, sir. That's not bad. And then... Uh, what do you guys require for a deposit on either one? Um, so for the sting rates, it's a thousand dollar deposit. Um, when we actually go to order your Z06, once the allocation gets picked up, pick up, um, it's a, I believe it, we're still doing a thousand dollar deposit for that as well. Oh, okay. And then are you guys selling both of those for MSRP or are you guys marking them up? For the regular sting rate, we're 10 grand over, um, for the Z06, we don't have pricing for that yet. Okay. It will be over sticker, but I'm not sure how much. Okay. Do you know how many are on the list for the Stingray right now? Um, as of right now, you would probably be, out of all the ones that are on order or waiting to come in and people who, you know, sent their orders in, you'd probably be, I'd say, 13th or 14th right now. Oh, wow. Okay. So not too bad. Yeah, and, and how many do you guys, like how many C8s did you get in for 2021? Um, we're, we've gotten probably about four in a month. Okay, so, so roughly about, about 48 to 50? Yes, sir. Okay, that's that's good. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had a lot of allocations for those. Good. So, yeah. Do you know, I know the Z06 is going to be quite a bit different like you said, but you guys kind of have a rough estimate of how many you'll get Z06s for the 2023 model year? We don't, we don't know. And the only main reason why is, is we don't know if, if production might get slowed or, you know, what's, what's all going to happen. So and we're probably expecting, you know, maybe close to 20 Z06s for, for 2023. Okay. If I had to, if I had to just, 
you know, have an estimate on that. And then how many people, did I already ask you how many people are on the Z06 list? You did not. On the Z06, I think we're 50 or 60. Oh, okay. So, it, I mean, if that's the case, it could be three years or so for someone right, you know, it, if I ordered it right now. Yeah, possibly could. Okay. These, uh, they're going to take longer to build because the, the engines are hand-built. Sure. Well, that's all very helpful information. You guys are way shorter time period on the Stingray than the larger dealerships. I talked to Sioka and McMulcom, and they're both 18 months out, and McMulcom is 12 months out on the Stingray. So That's insane. Yeah. Wow. So that's interesting. Yeah, my quickest one was I ordered it, when was it, the end of October, and it came in. It was the middle of last month. Oh, wow. That's, so, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Well, again, I appreciate your time and info, and uh, you have a good rest of your day. Alrighty, awesome. If you're looking to order one, um, feel free to let us know. Okay, I will do so. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you heard each and every one of those phone calls and each and every one of those salesmen explaining exactly what the process is for the C8 Stingray and the Z06. Obviously, all but one have a long wait for both the Stingray and the Z06. But as you can see, Holiday Chevrolet, which is where my neighbor Mark got his C8 Stingray from, only has about a six to eight month wait right now on Stingrays. And they actually have quite a short wait on Z06s compared to everybody else. Looks like maybe by the end of 2023, which is less than two years away, you may be able to get a Z06 through them. So all of this I hope is helpful, helpful information to each and every one of you guys. I just wanted to get this info out to you so that you could see that you can do this yourself. Don't just call five dealerships. Call as many dealerships as you can and figure out which one is best for you that fits your needs perfectly. Obviously, there's kind of a bittersweet thing with Holiday because they are quick to get you a Stingray, but they're charging 10,000 over MSRP now. So you wanna find a dealership that's quick and charges the lowest amount above MSRP, if not right at MSRP. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you don't wanna miss a single one of these types of videos, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you guys out on the road.